time for prayer. And for those of you that are going through some things, I want you to be reminded of the scriptures that uh, we are to look unto the hills from whence cometh our help. That is, um, that's a word for us to be able to see past all of the things that are going on, to be able to see in the spirit realm what God has called us, to be able to see in that realm as Jesus has sat on the throne. And then according to the Bible, he has made us sit together with him. The Bible declares that we are heirs to that throne and we are joint heirs with Christ. This gospel is to everyone that believes. And so my job is to believe. And that comes because we have faith. Faith just does not appear, but faith comes by hearing, and here it is, hearing the word of God. And that's why David said, when, as he began Psalms, that the man that meditated on the word day and night was blessed. Blessed is the man. So he meditated, he thought about, he had a relationship with the word and now as new covenant men and women of God filled with the spirit of God we have a right to not just visit the house of God but to have an everlasting relationship with God and it doesn't start when you leave here and go to heaven but it starts right now and so right now we are in a time where we can have a visit with God. That comes through meditation. And so I want you to join us during our teaching so I can talk about that. Meditating the word of God. Because we have, an, we have a time where as we talk the word and meditate the word, it becomes us. The Bible said in the beginning was the word. The word was with God, but the word was God. And so God being the word and, and made us in his image and his likeness puts us to be who we are in Christ. And that's why the Bible says Christ in you is the hope of glory. And so for the glory to come forth in this, in this time, glory to God, and for the glory to come forth and to show itself in this unusual time, it's... it's, it's you know, we're talking about thinking outside the box. We're out the box. We're not even in the box anymore. So you have to think outside the box. But here's the, here's the deal. When we hear what God is saying, we don't have to worry about the box. The enemy would like for us to stay in the box. But the word of God says, in my father's house, that's the real box that we need to live in. Uh, are many dwelling places or many mansions or many places that you can live way beyond way beyond what we can see with our eyes and feel with our hands our life now is in Christ in an everlasting way we, if we died one time and, and, and we don't have to die anymore now that's good news so we're not afraid of D-E-A-T-H. We're not afraid of that death because that's a sub-death that we have given, we have made our death with Christ when Jesus died on our behalf and in his dying the word that which he was preserved him so his body died but Jesus came up from the grave. Glory to God, there is an everlasting resurrection power 
that was reserved for you, but now it's in you. It's time for those of you all that are the listening and have come on with me for, for, for Wednesday prayer. Now we're going to get release that everlasting resurrection power on behalf of others. And I've shared with you all, those of you all that are, that are, uh, th those of you all that are, that are coming on with us just to pray with us. God bless you. God bless all of you all that that's coming on to pray with you. And, 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 uh, and I appreciate those of you all that if you begin to let me know that you are, that you are here, uh, and, uh, praying with us, let us know that you're praying with us because we're going to pray for some other folks. And, and let me just tell you, people are fixing to be healed today because of your prayers. P people are fixing to be delivered and, 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 uh, people are going to, there's coronavirus that's been holding on to people. People are going to be set free from coronavirus uh, in their bodies and the effects of it. We, we're killing it in the name of Jesus. Jesus spoke to a tree and, uh, and then walked off. <laughs> Turned around, walked off, and the disciples, in their excitement, saw the tree dead. But the fact is that the effect that Jesus spoke to it now gives us the authority to speak to certain things. And we walk by faith. And so we release, this is a level that we live in. We live in faith. And for those of you, all that have graduated to believe God for, for faith uh, in, in his word and healing, I, I again invite you to join us today as we pray for those other that may not. The Bible says that we ought to bear the infirmities of the weak. And there are people that are weak that having a lot of problems believing. That's why the man that brought this little leper boy to Jesus, well, actually he brought it to the disciples because he knew that, that actually the devil could be cast out of that boy through the disciples. And uh, the disciples had gotten into the discussion about just before this, who is the greatest in the kingdom. So their mindset had changed from kingdom to selfishness. And so when they went to cast the devil out, they couldn't get there. Again, that's why I say it's important for us to get all this worldly stuff out of our heart, unforgiveness and, 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 and all of the offense and all of that other things because they can hinder you. And so when he walked up to Jesus and, and, and Jesus asked him what was going on and, 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 and the man said, uh, I brought my boy, but, but they can't cast this devil out of my son. And uh, Jesus then dealt with this man's belief. He said, I believe, but I need you to help my unbelief. He was in unbelief as well. And he said, I need you to help my unbelief. So there are people, there are people, uh, including me, that have certain unbelief that we need to, throughout the word of God, look and receive the word of God on it so that we can see what God is saying. That's why we all have to get together. This is a body thing. The Bible says that every joint supplies. This is not just one man. This is, this is the body of Christ. And because of that, uh, and thank you, Mr. Uh, Mr. 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 Eugene Brown Jr. Thank you for listening and praying with us. I appreciate it. There are people that are praying with us and, 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 and uh, because there, are, there is an aspect of our unbelief. But when the body comes together, glory to God, when the body comes together, every joint supplies. And that's why in, uh, in, in uh, 1 Corinthians talks, talks about uh, the different parts of the body. Because the ear can't say to the foot, I don't have no need of you. The foot look up at the ear and say, and, and criticize the ear and say, all you do is listen all day long. But if the ear wasn't hearing, the foot could get hurt. And if you ever hit that big toe on something, <laughs> and if the eye wasn't seeing, you'd be going to the wrong place. And it could really harm you. So so here, every part of the body, every joint, the Bible says every joint supplies, and you have to get that revelation that we can help each other. We can help each other. And so today in our prayer, we're going I'm gonna lead us in prayer, but I want you to believe with me that people that are going through situations and and a uh, uh, test and trials. I want you to believe with me today that uh, <laughs> they get healed. 
Glory to God. And I'm when I, as I speak to you, I'm seeing certain people. Uh, I'm seeing a a a 31. I, I'm seeing your age, 31 years old with COVID. And COVID is working on you, and it came to you like with voices that were saying, you're going to die. I rebuke in the name, of the mighty name of Jesus, that voice. <laughs> Take your hand off of God's people. And I rebuke COVID-19. It is not from God. I rebuke that sickness and disease in the name of Jesus. And I declare you be healed right now in Jesus' mighty name. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. I'm, and and, and I'm, I'm just seeing as, I, as I'm praying. Now, y'all pray with me. And for those of you that pray in the Spirit, pray in the Spirit. Glory to God. Pray in the Spirit with me. In connections with the Holy Spirit, I say by the power of of God right now I say by the healing power of God be healed in the mighty name of Jesus that's that's a, a, another destination that I'm speaking I'm speaking to you a destination you can stop planning your funeral you won't be there anyway <laughs> whenever they bury you you're not going to be there stop planning your funeral Stop figuring out. Stop thinking the enemy wants you to think death. Jesus said, I come that you might have life. And that, more abundantly. That's what he said. Now, let, let, let's agree that, uh, that, that, uh, that, that the word is true. With long life, with long life, that, that's what the Bible says. He's giving you long life. He's blessed you with long life. God, God, listen, let me just tell you. I hear some people say, God, give me, uh, what is that, four school? <laughs> I get the four, I get all this. God did not give you just 70 years old. If that's so, then you need to go lay down in a casket after you get 70. <laughs> God didn't give you 70 years old, and then you on your own. No, that was when it, even in the Bible, when it said that it was because those people were in sin. You're not in sin. You are righteous by the blood of Jesus Christ. And so because of that being righteous by the blood of Jesus Christ, God, listen, he would not promise you long life if you did a certain thing. If you had a certain time, listen, you in charge. You made in the image and the likeness of God. Honor your father and your mother that thy days may be long. Oh, okay, so that's that's contingent on something. Trust in God. It's contingent on something. Guess who's in charge? You are. You don't honor your mother and father. Guess what happened? The Bible says that this, this whole life in Christ is based on sowing and reaping. Whatever man sows, that shall he also reap. It's not a number thing. Uh, well, your number came up, so you got to go. Man, who told you that? And where did you get that from? Oh, oh, you got it from the preacher? Where did he get it from? It's not in the Bible. There's nothing in the Bible that says that you got a certain number. And stop, stop listening to that. And take responsibility of your life. Faith comes by hearing the word of God. So you're responsible to hear the right word of God. If you're going to build yourself up in Christ, deal with your unbelief. If you're going to work the things of God, deal with who you are in Christ right now. Quit putting everything on the preacher. It's up to you. Glory to God. You are the righteousness of Christ. See, I, I remember when I got a revelation that Jesus made us sit down together with him in heavenly places. Glory to God. And the more I meditated on that, the more I saw I'm in heavenly places. That's what the Bible says. I'm actually in heavenly places with Christ. 
He actually made me sit down. Why? Because I didn't even know that one of the benefits of being born again was that I sit with him as an heir and a joint heir with Christ. I'm with Christ. We are with Christ. Man, when I got that revelation, and then the revelation goes on top of another revelation. And the more I think of that thing, the more I see that thing, I realize God loves me. God loves me enough. Glory to God. How can I hate other people when God loves me so much? Why, how can I? This is what the Bible says. Jesus had to explain. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Man, that's a powerful love that whosoever believe upon the son that was given by God because he loved the world so much. Him. Him. Should not perish. Now, let me tell you about perish. Even after you give your life to Christ, the devil won't want your body to perish. You don't have to perish. That's why when Jesus got here and did his three years, you're going to hear nothing but, but, but you're going to hear, you're going to hear the most powerful thing is that he brought healing. He didn't tell you to lay there and be faithful to God. Lay there. No, he said, get up. He don't see devils and demons and people acting a fool and they are having a hard time changing because the enemy has oppressed them in their depression. Say, well, you got to stay there and go through this with God. No, he said, get up in the name of Jesus. And when the devil opened his mouth, he said, come out of them in Jesus' name. I speak to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Every unclean spirit that's in your life, I declare to come out right now. Those things that are speaking to you in 3 and 4 o'clock in the morning, I, I release the power of God to come against you right now in the name of Jesus. I declare the great power of God upon your life right now. You be healed. There's a lady being healed of a knee, a knee problem, right, right, a knee problem, a knee problem right now in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Kidneys, listen to me. Be 100%. Hard and arteries. I speak to you. You've been clogging up. You've been clogging up. But I send the cleaning power. The cleaning, the power that raised Jesus from, listen, the power that raised Jesus from the dead. Man, that's a power. The power that raised Jesus, I release that power upon you in the name of Jesus. I release that power. Come on, you got to, you, look, you got to receive it. I'm, I'm, I'm finna speak to it. I'm sending it to you. I release that power right now. That same power that raised Jesus from the dead. I release it upon you right now in the name of Jesus. Every part of your body. Now listen to me. Listen to me. So, those of you that's listening. That say, I wish he'd call. I wish he'd call. I wish he'd call what's going on with me. Listen. Listen to me really good. If you receive your healing as I speak it, because there's an anointing that's flowing right now as I speak it. If you receive your healing right now as I speak it, and, 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 and you don't have, to, you don't need somebody to call it, because now you have released the the person that's really blessed is the person that can release and receive right now in the mighty name of Jesus, without me having to call it, even though. Claritha, your right ear is being opened right now. I speak to it in the name of Jesus. Be healed. That's, a, that's a, the power of God. That is the same power that raised Jesus from the dead is bringing healing to your ear right now. Glory to God. Come on, somebody, 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 somebody receive it by saying amen. I, I, I want you to just at least receive it. You know, sometimes... You have to open your mouth when, and, 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 and virtually now, you got to text it. Say, I receive it, or thank you. There, you. there you go, Diane. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, say, say amen. Come on, come on, receive it. In the mighty and powerful name of Jesus, you receiving the power of God upon your life. I receive the power of God. I receive the, oh, glory to God. There's a power that's being released right now. I receive. 
the power of God. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Glory to God, glory to God. There's a powerful anointing right now as I speak. Come in, glory to God. Somebody what? Somebody watching TV and you just said, I want it. No, but listen, listen, this is what I'm saying to tell you. As the power of God flows, you got to walk in it. You got to walk in it. Get up, stand up, receive it, believe it in the mighty name of Jesus. Stand up and believe it. Stand up and walk in it. Come on, come on, come on. For those of you just got healed and, 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 and for those that are having problems with, do something that you couldn't do. Walk in it. You've been released and been set free in the night, mighty name of Jesus. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Man, I'm telling you, this anointing, this anointing, there you go, there you go. This anointing, this, <laughs> y'all, listen, listen, listen. Sometimes you have to stand, you have to, you have to prop yourself under the anointing of God because the power of God is flowing and sometimes it flows and you can, you can actually feel the, the, the weight of the Holy Ghost. Whew. Glory to God, the power of the Holy Ghost and, this old flesh, the body, sometimes, you know, you have to work, you have to work. Sometimes I just have to change my position. <laughs> just to, just to, it, 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 it's so good. Come on, come on. Somebody's saying, I'm, I'm releasing, I'm feeling, I'm, 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 I'm um, receiving my healing right now. And then they, urinary tract is healed right now. Cancer, be healed in the name of Jesus. Let me, let me speak. Coronavirus, come out of the body. Get, you get up. Get out of there have no authority and right to be in the child of God. Get, get out in the name of Jesus. I release the blood of Jesus to, I, I, I release the blood of Jesus and the, I release the power of God, the same power that raised Jesus from the dead. It's the power that works in us. In the mic, yes, headaches are gone in Jesus' name. Glory to God, glory. Somebody say, that's me, that's me. Yes, that's you. I believe I receive. I believe I receive. Come on. That, there you go. Come on. Type it. Do something. Say something. I believe I receive. Come on. Some, somebody need to say it. Say it. You need to put it in the, in the comments. I believe. Come on. Come on. I believe that's your next step. Some of you, your next step is to receive the power of God. Breathe. Your breath. Your breath. Your breath. Somebody is breathing now better than they've ever breathed before. I believe I receive. I believe I receive. I believe I receive. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty, in the mighty. <laughs> glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. I pray. I pray. For your body today i pray that you be healed i pray that you'll have life and that more abundant that's what jesus said you got jesus that's what jesus said he come that you can have life and that more abundant stop meditating on what the devil came the, the, he came to kill to steal and destroy don't think on those things Bible say renew your mind. It's the renewing of your mind. I think on life and that more abundantly. Father God, we thank you for your healing power. Thank you. You know, that's the shortcut saying thank you. Thank you for healing. That's the power of God. That's the power of God. Somebody, there's a not that was up under somebody's right arm, check it. It's gone. Glory to God. There's a knot. There's a knot. Get, put your hand there. Put your hand there. Glory to God. Glory to God. Yeah, yeah. Not you. You, you, you couldn't stay there. Oh, my goodness. God is so good. People are being healed of cancer right now in the name of Jesus. I believe. I receive. There you go. There you go. There you go, Stanley. I believe. Don't say, I will receive. Come on, come on, come on. Will is the next day. Come on, say, I believe I receive. Come on. 
Faith is now. Faith happens as you declare it. Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. So when you bring him, it transcends time. When you speak in his name, it is not something that's going to come. It's something that's here. Glory to God. Declare it in his name. That's why a man of God can scare... A man of God can scare the devil. When he talk of God because the devil don't know how to deal with he does not know how to deal with a man of God talking. Because he talked past time. The devil can't do nothing but deal with time. He talked past time. I believe I receive. I believe I receive. Right now in the mighty name of Jesus. That's it. That's it. That's it. And I thank God for it. Let me tell you about what Jesus did with that tree that I told you about earlier. When he spoke to it, he left. He didn't stand there and wait on that tree. Let me see what it's doing. He wasn't checking out what he said. He believed what he said. His belief had him to turn around. It was the guys that was with him who the next day saw the tree had dried from the roots were amazed. Evidently, they didn't believe what Jesus said. He said, this tree, they said, Jesus, look at that tree, what you spoke to yesterday. That tree has dried up from root. He said, you can speak to a mountain. It's not you, but you, as I'm speaking today, that's not me. That's Jesus working in me. It's the power of God. That anointing that you begin to detect as I spoke, that's Jesus. That is the anointing of God. And when I talk it, it brings on the angels of God. It brings on the host of the Lord. That's why when I'm talking right now, it's not me. It is the power of God. It's the power of God. It's the power. <laughs> it's the power of God. That's what you... That's what you are in right now. You are in the midst of the power of God right now. Just say thank you. So, Father, I thank you as that anointing, that anointing that is on our people right now, that anointing will never stop until everything that they believe God for is gone. And everything that they believe in God to go forward in is there. I say in the name of Jesus. I say in the name of Jesus. You are healed. You are delivered. You are set free. Glory to God. Glory to God. Backs are being healed. Above, right above your back being healed. Oh, glory to God. That little spine thing right there, right there above your back. Uh, 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 and below the bottom part of your back, I meant to say, in the name of Jesus being healed. Tailbone, that's what it's called. The tailbone being healed in the name. Glory to God. Man, this is powerful. Well, thank God for each and every one of you all that came with us to pray. Thank you. Uh, let me look. Let me look. Because I'm outside in this sun. Thank you, Eric. Diane. Glory to God. Eugene Brown, God bless you all for coming on. Amen. Jasper, man, I believe the word of God and the, and the I believe the word of God for your life. Glory to God. Stanley, I say in the name of Jesus that the power of God is upon you. And God healing your arm right now in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Let the power of God flow upon your life. In the mighty and powerful name of Jesus, Claudette, thank God for you. And we just declare that the neck, the, the, the back of your neck, in the name of Jesus, is healed. In the mighty, powerful name of Jesus, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. My friend, Harold Neal, <laughs> Harold Neal, that's what I used to call it. Harold, man of God, God bless you. And there's a power of God that is flowing right now, even as I speak. 
Glory to God. Diane, glory to God. And all of you different people that have come on. And I thank God for you as we going forward in 2021. Come on. Tell the devil he, he, he can go because there's nothing he can do with you now. This is the army of the, of the Lord. And I believe that that's what the power of God is in 2021. It is people that are working together in Christ under the power of love, releasing unforgiveness and not having nothing to do with unforgiveness, releasing offense in their life, and we're going forward, and the body of Christ is fixing to show out this year in the mighty name of Jesus. We ain't stuck on denomination. We got them, but we ain't stuck on them. We're not stuck on our organization. We got them, but we washed in the blood of Jesus. We are members of the army of God and the body of Christ. God bless each and every one of you all. God bless you today. Amen.